Hi, my name is Sean Mabry. I am a writer, and today I wanted to talk about a, a piece of wisdom that I've heard repeated many times before, and I've um, always kind of suspected was true, but it's, it, it, it's something that unfortunately sounds like a cliché, and uh, I think that's only because A, it actually is true, um, and B, it's, it's repeated so often, but I, I did want to share it with you here and really highlight how important this is for writers specifically. And that is that if you want to get ahead in your career, if you want to you know, reach the next level, make important connections, um, you know, find the resources you need to, um, to advance, then the best thing you can do for yourself is to go out into the world, go out into your industry, specifically into the writing world, with a giving hand. And um, for me, what this means is, uh, you know, a perfect example would be the writers' conference I went to earlier this year. Um, where the only, well not the only, but the, the, the primary question on my mind, the first thing I thought with each person I spoke to was how can I help this person? What can I do to contribute to their journey as a writer or as an editor or you know whatever role they are uh, they're fil fulfilling? What can I do to help them? Because when you go out and do this and you do it seriously, not as an act, not as um, you know, not, not in the short and cheap way, but in the serious way, where um, you go without expectations, you, you put it far back in the back of your mind, your own concerns, just go forward and give. It's amazing the kind of opportunities that uh, start coming back your way. And uh, for me, the, the best example would be my um, you know, ongoing uh, partnership with Elaine Ash. She's the author of Best Selling uh, Metrics, um, the book that I covered in the last uh, four videos of this channel. And uh, I just had a call with her over the weekend that really proved out this principle because, um, you know, this, this whole series of events, you know, when, when I was talking about the book on, her, on my channel, it's because she had sent me a free copy and said, hey, if you find this useful, um, you know, feel free to make a video about it, talk about it. And of course, I read the book and formed my own opinion and found that, yes, it's extremely useful. It's actually a wonderful, wonderful book. And so I did decide to talk about it on my channel. And um, that just set off this, 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 this chain of, you know, really positive collaborations and, and favors between the two of us to the point where now um, we just talked about how I'm going to, you know, do a little bit of work to assist her um, and, you know, help expand her, her uh, connections. And in return, uh, she's actually offered to do a complete assessment of my manuscript, which um, if you're at all familiar with the editing process, that's huge. That's a really wonderful big favor. And, um, and I have to say, you know, having heard, so going back a step, um, the impetus for the conversation over the weekend was that I had sent her the first 25 pages of my manuscript after she had offered to look at it for free um, at a workshop. She had actually made that offer to everyone in the workshop, which again, shows that she's very generous herself. That's, I would suspect, part of why she's gotten so far in her career. But um, nonetheless, when I got back her notes on my opening chapters, which I have to admit were, I think, the weakest part of my manuscript. My manuscript has a very tight, strong story in many other respects, but I was very nervous about my opening. That was the part I felt most hesitant about. And when I saw her notes where she proposed an alternate version of the opening, it was like seeing the clouds part and watching a ray of sunshine, this, this like perfect beam of truth and wisdom come out from the sky because she had taken all of the elements of my uh, story in the first few chapters and proposed a new opening, which is so much more vivid and so, so much more crisp and clean and gets all the necessary information out, puts all the chess pieces in the right places, establishes the characters in this really vivid way, and does all that while staying completely true to the spirit of my, of my story. Um, in fact, when I read her version of the opening, I wanted to kind of smack myself on the head because I was like, this is perfect. How come I didn't think of this? I'm supposed to be the author here, right? Like, it's supposed to be my story. Um, which, I mean, if, if nothing else, shows the importance of reaching out for help. Um, but the fact that I was even able to have that opportunity and we were able to have that conversation and the fact that now, she, you know, we've made this wonderful um, agreement to, 
to, to help each other out. Um, none of that would have been possible if Elaine and I both did not go out into the world with a giving hand. And, uh, you know, this is just one example I can name out of many in my career and many others of how it, um, it's the best thing you can do for yourself to go out and give. Um, and, uh, and, and please don't mistake that for selfishness because it's not. Not when you, not when you mean it, not when you give generously. Um, not when you give for real because it's only natural that people would want to give back when they see someone doing something like that. And uh, please take that advice. And I think especially this is a good lesson for those of you who, um, who have a limited budget. You know, uh, quite frankly, to, to get into the writing world by any means takes money. And not everyone has money, but if you have passion and drive and a willingness to help others, if you're willing to go forward with a given hand, um, again, even if you're not established, even if you're just completely green, you have something you can offer to help. And you can, uh, you know, if you just start by being generous and, and showing that you can give, showing that you can deliver, negotiations and deals will appear. You know, you'll, you know people will, will start to offer you things in return for your, for your help um, that are amazing, enormous stepping stones. And so please, please go out into the world with a giving hand. It's the best thing you can do for both the world and yourself. Um, especially in this industry where it is completely a positive game. Um, everyone can win. There is room for all of us if we all believe that and act as such. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next week.